Hey everybody, it's Owen, and today I'm back with another Transformers figure. This is the MP17 Prowl. He is from Chikara Tomy, which is not a third-party company. Anything that is Hasbro or Chikara Tomy is considered your standard Transformers figures. And this one I've had for a while, but I've just kept it on display and I've never done a review on it until now. And actually, somebody was asking me if I was going to do more Transformers, and, uh, yeah, we got Transformers figure. Get that out of the way. Let's get this guy open. All right. So, what we got is... <laughs> okay, this is about... So, we got two instruction manuals. This one's in English, and this one is in Japanese. You get these two blaster cannons that the instructions don't mention at all. But I have one way that you could use it, and I'm thinking of another way, but it's probably not gonna work. But let's play in a little robot mode. And then we get a collector card that's not as nice and solid as I'd like it to be. It's more of this papery texture. Look at this. Now we get to the main event. Prowl in his vehicle mode. He is a highway patrol police car. And then we've got a blaster rifle, or as the instruction said, a semi-auto blaster rifle. See, so we have the vehicle mode. The box says it is a Nissan Fairlady 280Z-T. You got the white and the black, and you've got the sirens on top. You've got the really far away side mirrors. You can see it says Highway Patrol Police, and it's got a little police badge, which is pretty cool. You can see it's got these translucent windows that reveal a bunch of kibble. And fun thing, if you like pull this open a little bit, the doors can open, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. Look at what's inside there. That's not, that's not good. So, swearing it over to the front, you can see that it's got some headlights. It's got a very tiny Nissan logo and Autobot symbol. And then twisting it around, you can see that it's got the backlights as well as this little like back windshield, I want to call it. And then you can see it's got these two windshield wipers. It rolls really nicely. Here's the bottom, you can see it's got some nice detail. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to transform him on camera and uh, then I'll show him in his robot mode. And here we have the robot mode. And as you can see, we got a nice head sculpt up top and you can see he's got his little red horns. He's got the door flap things like Bumblebee in the movies. And then you can see he's got some nice mechanical detailing on his like chest area. This is obviously just the hood of the car mode. See, we got these wheels on the shoulders here and he got these nice hands, pretty good. And then if you move down here, you can see we've got the back of the robot mode turns into the feet. But if you turn him around, he's extremely hollow. Like you can see, there's a bunch of gaps back there, but you're probably not gonna be displaying him like this, are you? So, he looks pretty good from the front. Prowl has got the shoulder cannons, but you can do, you take off his back piece and have that, and then you flip these cannons up and that doesn't look too bad. I thought these were flashlights at first because you can see they have little metal things inside of them over his shoulder, but they're cannons according to the instructions. And this is where these things play in. So you take these cannons, you extend them like so, and you attach these like that. And then you just push it down and then boom, he's got a bigger shoulder mounted cannon. And something that cool that he can do, you can open his hand. You gotta get it just right. 
and he can hold the cannon. And then you can attach the second one, and boom, and boom, he can hold his cannons like so. You can get some pretty good poses out of this guy, I'm not gonna lie. And for even more options, you could bring in a stand. I'm just using a normal Gundam 1100 scale stand. I would take the largest one of these cradle things and just slide it right there. And as you can see, it doesn't look bad in the air. And that is not included, by the way, so you're gonna have to buy that yourself, sadly. You just go out to like a hobby genre or something. All right, guys, that was my MP17 Prowl review. Tell me what you guys think and tell me which masterpiece figure you would like to see or anything that you would like to see in general. But I do have another one in mind that I will be doing after that. I'll try and see what I can do. These things are expensive after all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.